with a well-managed, diverse native pasture where you're planning the grazing and actually utilising the native grasses to their optimum potential, basically your animals will be healthier, so you save enormously on animal treatments and animal health treatments. There's a lower cost in terms of the production of the grasses. No herbicide should be needed in a diverse native pasture. It's a low cost, low risk and maximum benefit, maximum health approach to, um, to grazing management and animal production. There's been quite a few trials now and experiments done comparing growth of, um, of native grasses with introduced grasses and when you compare them on the same level terms, the native grasses very often are just as productive as the introduced grasses. And when you've got a diversity of plants, you'll have much more resilience and much more resistance to pests and diseases in that population than you would have in a, in a monoculture situation. So each species of plant produces a different variety of chemicals, phytochemicals into the soil and they'll support a whole suite of different biology within the soil and those plants actually communicate between one another through predominantly mycorrhizal fungi. It's like the, the world wide web <laughs> below the soil in terms of it's, it's a whole network of communication not only within plants but between plants as well. So the more diversity that you've got there the more resilience that whole community has to resistance to change. So it's a much more stable environment, not only season to season, but year to year. If you've got a diversity of plants with a different growing cycle, so you'll have some that will grow actively through the winter, some that will grow actively through the summer, and it's a much more stable production system than the boom and bust that's associated with a, a monoculture. By being strategic about the management, you can optimise the use of those plants to optimise animal production as well. So you may not achieve, you know, a kilo and a half a day of gain, but you know, if you averaged it over a longer period, you're probably optimising production per hectare, if not production per head. And it's a much more sustainable, much more stable production system. Native grasses certainly uh, have the capacity to survive and thrive in relatively low nutrient soils. It's extremely expensive a lot of energy to keep a monoculture as a monoculture because natural systems thrive on diversity and are constantly trying to build that resilience. The whole grassland system, particularly with a native system, can be, a, be seen as a, as a feedback system so it can either be positive or negative depending on your management but the potential for native grasses to actually build soil and build soil health and build, build soil biology by creating or well, providing that habitat is, is quite phenomenal.